एनालिसिस ऑफ टेस्ट इज लाइक अ विंडो इन विच यू अंडरस्टैंड योर स्ट्रेंथ्स एंड वीकनेसेस एंड आई विल स्टार्ट विथ वॉट अर्जुन सेट दैट पोस्ट योर टेस्ट यू शुड डेफिनेटली हैव a note copy in which you should write on important points regarding that uh, test because every test is unique in uh, nature and if you start writing down important points from the test at the end of the entire test series uh, you will be actually you will have lot of uh, important points which you can actually revise during the last stages so that is one point but analysis of test requires lot of time and effort and most of the students skip that step they have given the test and they feel that it is okay for me now to move to another test and they don't analyze but just remember guys that if you don't analyze the test how will you improve because you will not know your weaknesses and strength and i have seen over the period of time lot of students doing analysis in a different way so i will start with one of the topper who got all india rank 6 in advance uh when he was analyzing his test what he used to do is uh he used to put up a potential mark of his so typically after every test he used to say that my potential marks in this test was let's say out of 360 my potential was around 340 but i got 300 marks so this is a gap of 60 and i should look into that 60 marks where i can actually achieve that in the next test so that was one once you understand your potential and the gap then you start working on those uh, gap areas and the best way to do is uh, which i recommend students is doing it through a abcd method and abcd method is a stands for concepts which you don't know b stands for concepts you know but you don't know the application and c is again divided into two parts c1 and c2 c1 is for uh, reading silly mistake and c2 is for calculative silly mistake for example which of the following is not correct and most of the time we uh, see the first option which is correct and we take it and many a times 3 plus 2 in the hurry we write down 3 plus 2 is 6 instead of 5 or 3 into 2 is 5 so this kind of uh, uh, silly mistake which is repetitive in nature and if you actually look at your pattern you will come to know that every student has a unique pattern and they should understand so that when while going into next test they do not commit the same kind of mistake right and d are easy questions but because we are not properly managed in the test we leave those questions and they are very easy so these are the four options and they should mark for each questions which they have left or they have not attempted across all the questions and uh, post that they should now for a they should look for either theory or they should actually look for teachers to solve their concepts but if the time is very less then they should skip the a portion that this is the not the portion they should be revising towards the last couple of weeks but they have plenty of time like uh, april exam then they should definitely go ahead and uh put focus on a b is through revision so revision of uh, exercises or problems that you have already solved you should take up those problems and you should again revise those problems and c and d are something which will consciously improve if you will bring the test environment at your home so anyone who is preparing from home or coaching institute they should give as many at test as possible so that your mind and body is prepared according to the exam condition and that will ease out the stress because i always ask this question to students that tell me a single day when you have attempted more than 90 questions whereas all these exams have minimum 90 questions in 3 hours so if in a single day you have not attempted 90 questions you know how your mind will react to 30, 90 questions in 3 hours it will obviously fall into stress and therefore we listen to all these queries that sir exam mein kharab ho gaya ghar pe aake solve ho gaya so these are the typical queries that we get from students just because they have not Uh, prepared their mind for that stress condition so these are few steps i think anyone who follows definitely will see a lot of improvement and trust me apart from studies only following these steps can improve their marks by 5 to 10% that is that is like a great achievement because these are the things which most of the students they ignore very interesting 5 to 10% is a big jump uh, in fact i will quote this uh, there was this again i was i am taking this example of ar6 uh, in 2014 this student uh, when he was preparing for advance and we realized that there are paper 1 and paper 2 uh, typically we targeted him for top 10 but he was getting a rank of uh, 75% in paper 1 and he was getting a 55 to 60% in paper 2 and there was a huge gap between paper 1 and paper 2 
once we sat with him and analyzed what was his weakness and typically his weakness in paper 2 was that he used to get tired in paper 2 then i advised that why don't you take a nap in between these two paper which may help you you know relax and uh, you will go motivated in the paper 2 so he started taking nap between that so 12:30 to 1:30 there was a nap and then he used to get up and go and take the test and lunch he actually pushed between 12 and 12:30 now within 10 days we saw that his second paper also marks started coming around 70 to 73 and suddenly from 65 67 zone he went to 75 zone right that was a huge improvement and then another 10 day we worked on the weaknesses what was there and he was getting around 85% and finally he got 84% in JE advance and he got a rank 6 and I think I gave the same advice to Arjun uh, to do this nap thing because these are few things which generally nobody tells you and if you are not practicing these you are losing this 10 marks and you feel that you have not prepared well enough and what you do you start preparing more very interesting Arjun did you implement any of these suggestions and did it help yeah uh, Anand sir most important thing is the test ana analysis so he told me after every test do a detailed question wise analysis so even though it was a very boring task uh, and none of us would like to waste our time doing it but it's on, it's not a waste of time it's it's what will help you improve so I did a question wise analysis for every test and um, that showed me my weak areas and uh, where I should improve um, and even the nap between the two tests so I used to just lie down wherever I could find space in the Vedanta office and um, uh, and we, uh, we also saw that uh, uh, when I saw my test results that for me the test one I was doing uh, worse than test two so then we discussed this and uh, he said that probably because Test one, I used to come in a hurry, and then, uh, and just as soon as I came, I should I would start the test. So then my uh, state of my mind would not be proper. So then I tried coming earlier and uh, sitting for a while and relaxing, and then doing the test, and I saw some improvement through that. So small, small things. Small things. Like yes. So they, that that's what um, gives you that uh, edge over the others. Very interesting.